Good evening. My name is Jose Bueso with Dynamic Automotive, and I'm here tonight uh, attending the Career and Technology Center's open house. And with me, I have Principal Michael Concepcion, who will tell us a little bit about the school and his programs, and specifically, maybe a little bit about the automotive program, which we are in now. Michael? All right. Thank you, Mr. Bueso. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Um, well, I'll tell you a little bit about CTC. Obviously, we're a student, uh, uh, school here that's a part of Frederick County Public Schools. We only uh, hold students in grades 10 through 12 right now, and they are all enrolled in about 24 different programs. Typically, we get anywhere from about 725 to 750 students per year. Um, we, we get students from all 10 of the comprehensive high schools here in Frederick County Public Schools. Currently, right now, we're about uh, 50 about 55, 54 percent male students and, and 46 percent female students. So I've watched that actually. The gender gap has, has shrunk a lot within the last seven years here at CTC. So uh, a lot of folks, when they think about the Career and Technology Center and the vocational and career education that we offer here, sometimes folks just think it's only available for guys. And I think we have a lot of programs here that uh, have a lot of benefits for all students. When you think about our automotive tech program, it is not uncommon for me to walk into the program and see both male and female students working side by side, working very, very hard and doing a great job. Automotive technology is a great program. We have two wonderful, outstanding teachers who um, really do what's best for kids. They work very, very hard to stay up on industry innovation and standards. They really put kids first in their preparation for uh, providing the best education that they can provide for our students. The other thing that's important for me is that we've got a foundation here at FCC. We actually have two foundations that we're involved with, the Construction Trades Foundation and the Mechanical Trades Foundation. Mr. Bueso is president of the Mechanical Trades Foundation, and really without their help, we wouldn't be as successful as we are. They provide us with guidance, monetary support, um, and just a number of things that really allow us to give the best experience that our students can actually have in the automotive tech program. They also work very hard for us to support internship and apprentice opportunities, and they are wonderful mentors for not only our students, but our teachers who are always looking to expand their, their job role and, 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 and staying up on the latest current uh, automotive technology innovations and, and, and creative technology. So, Kudos to all the folks that came out here tonight for our open house, and, and really the reason why we're so successful is because of folks uh, like Mr. Jose Bueso, Dynamic Automotive, and the support we have from the business community. This program is really fun. You get to work on cars whenever you come in here. You have certain class times in the classroom and in a shop. You'll get certain, you'll have to do tests, you have to do your ASE tests. As you can see on mine, I have lots of badges of what I've passed. And this is going, this is good for your resume. You will be able to, you'll have job offers and you'll have people coming in here talking, talking to you about what you could be doing, college, college offers, and this is good. Good evening, my name is Jose Bueso with Dynamic Automotive and I am a supporter of the Career and Technology Center here in Frederick County. And who I have with me here tonight is Gary Wilfong, one of our instructors, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about the program. We also have a couple of students here, Kyle and Walt, that will tell us additional information about the program, and here's Gary. Hello there, my name is Gary Wolfong. I'm one of the instructors here. Uh, this is Automotive Service Technology. This is a two-year program uh, where high school students can start in the uh, 10th or the 11th grade. Uh, we cover all aspects of the automobile. Even though it is directly geared towards the automobile, we hope that the students develop a skill set here that they can use in uh, several different fields. The Career and Tech Center here in Frederick County is, is Frederick's best kept secret. I just, uh, I really enjoy working here. I love working with the students. And uh, I'm going to hand it off here to a couple of my former students. First, this is Kyle Lucas. And Kyle has uh, been out of high school, what, uh, a year, a little over a year now? Two years. Maybe. Come on now. You had that much fun here, you don't remember how long it was. Hello. Uh, I uh, entered this program knowing just about nothing about cars. I learned everything I know from this class and out of work activities. 
from this program, I got a job at Ren Kirby Mitsubishi, and then from there, I transferred to Ideal Buick GMC Hyundai. I worked as a helper for two years, and then recently just transferred to the parts department. There's definitely plenty of opportunities you can obtain from this program. What you do with it is up to you. How's it going? My name is Walt Stone. Um, I started this program my junior year of high school. From this program, I got a job at Shockley Honda. I'm a tech there now. I've been there about six months. The doors that this program opens are endless. Like Kyle said, it's up to you what you make of it, but uh, it can definitely open some great doors for you. Thanks, guys. One thing, a couple other things I'd like to mention is we are an ASC certified program, which means uh, we're held to a standard that's uh, industry-based and recognized nationally. We also promote what's called the Automotive Youth Education System. Uh, both these guys were a, what we call AYS interns where they work, allows them to take it to the next level and work with experienced mentors out in the, out in the workplace. It is a paid internship, right? I think, I feel like it gives the students a, uh, a jump start on a career. It's, it's a great opportunity. It's a two-year program and they really get to learn what the industry is about. And as the students admitted themselves, there's a lot of opportunity for each and every one of them to get a good job and develop it into a career. Okay, back, we're back here in the Automotive Service Technology Program and uh, I'd like for you to meet a couple students. Michael Phelps here is a student, a first year student, level one in our program. He's only been here about nine weeks and he's with uh, Mr. Smith, Richard Smith, the other instructor here. And um, you want to talk, tell us a little bit about the program? Sure. Um, hi, I'm Mike. I've um, been here for a while, for about nine weeks or so. Um, right now we're, talk, we're learning about how the basic functions of a car, inspection, tires, and wheels and all that. And so getting the basics of learning how to inspect it and everything about a car right now. But the second year we'll be talking about performance of an engine and going into more detail with it, but as of right now, we're talking about how to work in the field of the automotive and uh, find out how to fix problems with cars and to help clients out, so it's good for us to be in. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Uh, next year, we have Aaron Rudman. Aaron graduated in 2014, and um, I understand you want to say a few words. Absolutely. He've always he's always liked to talk. So here we go. He's a good one. There we go. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> uh, Hold the microphone. Hi guys, I'm Aaron Rudman. I'm from the class of 2014. I graduated with Mr. Wilfong's class, and I was your 2014 uh, Skills USA Vice President. I currently hold my power plant rating with the Federal Aviation Administration, uh, which licenses me, licenses me to work on. Uh, aircraft engines. Uh, I currently am going to school. I'm going to have my airframe, which allow me to do riveting, welding, all the other stuff that's left out of the engine side of aircraft. One thing about this program is it doesn't just teach you how to work on cars. It also teaches you professionalism and how to hold yourself as a good employee. It's a great experience, and it's what made me a good enough mechanic to go and try out planes. I'm Richard Smith, Automotive Instructor here at the Career and Technology Center in the Automotive Service Technology Program. We're an ASC certified program in Maintenance and Light Repair, Repair Plus. And I wanted to introduce Garrett Geisler here, a former student of mine, and I want him to uh, tell you a little bit about the program, what it's done for him, and about his career now in automotive industry. Garrett? Hi. I'm now currently the lead technician at the Dynamic Automotive in New Market. CTC has helped me grow in my short years. The establishment even coming to the position I am in now. The education here is excellent. Teachers, you couldn't ask for a better classroom or atmosphere, including all the people around us here, to, even the students, couldn't ask for a better body. Um, Truly one of the best places to ever come learn for you if you ever want to get in the field. Even learn how to even work on a car. Even do the small stuff such as brakes or oil changes. Even learning how to do that is awesome class to get you started going somewhere. Good evening. My name is Jose Bueso with Dynamic Automotive. 
I've been involved with the Career and Technology Center for a number of years now and it has really benefited our business in regards to growing and it helps out the community. We have quite a few other businesses involved with this organization and they benefit greatly from it. Behind me you'll see a couple of them, Albin and there is TransTech also and they benefit from this program. This is a two-year program that teaches our kids how to enter into a vocational industry and get real on-the-job experience. So it's so valuable for kids to get their feet wet and get out there and learn what the, what the business is about, and then they go on from there. Most of these kids will enter into a community college and continue with their technical training. This is a great program and it benefits many, many kids, the communities, and you can see that the parents are very involved with it. Hi, I'm Lee Foreman with Dynamic Automotive. I'm here at the CTC Career Night at the Community College uh, CTC program in Frederick County. Uh, it's open from 6 to 8 tonight, so come out and see if you're interested in the automotive industry. There's a lot of opportunity here with the cars and or heavy equipment, and uh, we welcome you to come and join us. and. Come see Dynamic Automotive at dynamicautomotive.net and see what it's all about. Thank you very much. Good evening. My name is Jose Bueso, and I'm with Robert McNamara. Yep. And we're both involved with the Career and Technology Center. Now, Robert, I've been involved for about 17 years uh, serving on the uh, foundation, the Mechanical Trades Foundation. What's your involvement here, and how long have you been serving? Uh, well, I worked here from 93 to 95, and during that time I became involved with the board, and I've been a member of the board since then, so 20 years now. Wow. In what capacity did you work here? As a teacher? Uh, as a teacher's assistant. I worked in this shop here and in the electrical shop. That's fantastic. Now where do you work? Uh, now I'm a, the uh, environmental health and safety coordinator for TransTech in Adamstown, Maryland. Tell us a little bit about what you've got set up here and, and what you do for the community with this. Okay. Um, well, TransTech is a, a high-tech ceramics manufacturer, and we decided to come out and show the community or the kids kind of what kind of jobs were available at TransTech, uh, especially the mechanical way and electrical, and also to kind of make them a little excited about becoming engineers. That's excellent. Now, do you hire the students from this? No, we do not. Um, they would go through a temp agency or something. The students would have to be 18 to, to work there. So, But going forward, we would hope that you know once they either got out of high school or something, they would think about us as far as employment. So you're educating them on how to get in touch with your organization after they finish their schooling and how to enter into your industry. Right, yes. That's fantastic. Well, it's been a pleasure dealing with him for as many years as I have. He supports the program in very many ways, uh, both in the foundation and out, and I've enjoyed it thoroughly.